Welcome back once again to my YouTube class guys I am Manjeet Rawat your online instructor in previous session we discussed about how to configure azure file sharing service i hope you all of you understand about the concept of azure file share service with the help of file synchronization we are able to synchronize our on premises file server to azure storage services now i am moving ourselves to next topic and it's really important for every Azure administrator because we are on page of Azure AG one zero four, so it's our responsibility. We should know about each and every points related to the Azure AG one zero four certification based content. So in this class, I'm going to guide you how you can manage Azure Compute Services because we started from the very basic. According to the content of AG one zero four, first topic is our Azure Active Directory. Second. how to manage azure storage now we are trying to understand about the third module and third module is core related to the compute services if we talk about contents that we need to cover in third module we'll start from the basic of virtual machines management like how to create virtual machine how many way we have to create a vm like vmss reserve instance dedicated host and virtual machine on demand In the same module, we'll also try to discuss about the Azure Web App Service. As per the name suggests, with the help of Web App, we are able to host our website based on .NET, PHP, Java, and it can also give you option to set up your website using CMS. So, in compute part, we will discuss each and every point. So, let's try to understand about the concept and content that we need to cover in third module. and after that we'll proceed for the practical but before that if you're watching my video first time if you are on, new on my youtube channel so please do subscribe teach me cloud because teach me cloud can give you 100% live practical based video without skip any step so let me proceed now i'm going to move ourselves to the desktop screen and guide you about the content that we need to cover and after that we'll proceed for the practical with the help of azure portal so now i'm mo moving ourselves to desktop screen this is our desktop screen i'm just going to show you the content first this is our course content az104 microsoft azure administrator and in the azure administrator we have already completed the first module and second module This is third module deploy and manage azure compute resources that help you up to 20 to 25% questions in final examination so in compute let me explain you about which types of contents are available so what you need to do just need to do just need to click here deploy and manage azure compute resources okay so in deploy and manage azure compute resources introduction means how many way we have to create virtual machine then review cloud services services responsibilities plan to create virtual machine determine virtual machine sizing determine virtual machine storage create virtual machine in portal connect to virtual machine with the help of rdp or another options which is available and connect to windows mas virtual machine connect to the linux virtual machine this is the agenda of day 1 means in this class i am going to help you i am going to guide you each and every step according to the content of configure virtual machines so let me explain you about the theoretical part first and after that uh, we'll show you the procedure how you can manage azure virtual machine azure vm management right as we know that every cloud provider can give us option to create a virtual machine because whenever we establish our uh, we, whenever we purchase any subscription on cloud uh, it's our responsibility we should know about how we can manage because most of client prefer to use 
cloud technology to set up our server over a portal. So if we talk about Azure, so Microsoft Azure can give us option to create virtual machine and we have a various way means we have a various method to create the virtual machine like as a on demand virtual machine, right? And second, you can proceed and create reservation means reserve the virtual machine. Third, dedicated host. And fourth one is VMSS, which is correlated to virtual machine. scale set fine so we have a four different way to create our virtual machine over azure portal i'm going to start from the on demand because most of organization and a small project prefer to use on demand based virtual machine because it's really easy to use and uh, whenever you want to uh, share with anyone you can do that and as per the name suggest on demand you can delete your virtual machine anytime right so if you are using us, if you want to set up, uh, if you want to handle a small project, or uh, if you want to test the virtual machine, how it look like, how it works, so the, you can proceed with on demand. Because in case of reservation, you have to purchase your virtual machine for long time, like minimum one years, one year and maximum five years. So dedicated another option that can help you to enhance the security because what happened in case of dedicated host whenever we proceed with dedicated host azure will set up a one hardware one uh, physical server in backend and associate with your account only right and vmss is a virtual machine skull set as per the name suggests it will give you the cluster using the cluster you can create n number of virtual machine 1 2 10 100 thousand virtual machine in single cluster if you plan to host your website, if you want to establish your application server, uh, you want to set up any kind of database. So you must need to proceed with VMSS. In our case, I'm going to show you each and every point related to the on demand. So we will discuss each and every point. But now I'm going to show you the step. The first one is create virtual machine, right? Second, we'll discuss about uh, connect Windows virtual machine. windows vm using rdp then discuss about sizing the meaning of sizing you can change the configuration of your virtual machine anytime so let's move ourselves to portal this is our azure portal i'm just going to create one virtual machine and uh, guide you the procedure how we can uh, create it so just need to open azure portal in azure portal we are able to find compute under the compute click virtual machines already have already created two different virtual machine let me create one more in case of on-demand virtual machine we need to follow seven different step basic disk networking management monitoring advanced tag review and create let me select my subscription is free trial domain Type the virtual machine name. So I wanted to create virtual machine with name of uh, web. Japan is the location. Availability option. We will discuss about availability option separately. I'm not going to proceed with any availability configuration. This is the operating system. Images. You can say that the ISO image of your operating system that you want to create. So I'm planning to proceed with server 2016. Next size the configuration of your virtual machine right one more point just wanted to add if you are using a uh, kind of uh, free trial account so azure will guide you azure will help you to create only two virtual machine in free trial that's why i'm unable to find because i have already consumed the space so what i need to do uh, i need to delete my existing virtual machine if you are facing issues like this, it means that you have already utilized your uh, what we can say that the limit of free trial account. So we must need to remove the resources and try to create new.
In the size icon, you can select the configuration for your virtual machine. So I'm going to proceed and create our VM with capacity of two core CPU and four gig of RAM. We must need to provide the user add in password. Password should be a minimum 14 character, right? 3389 can help you to take the RDP of your virtual machine. As we know that 3389 is a logical port, which is responsible to carry RDP protocol. Next. This is another step that you need to follow, which is correlated to hard drive. So I'm not going to make any changes. We have option to add new hard disk while creating virtual machine or attach an existing hard disk. If you have already created virtual hard drive, so you can attach with your virtual machine while creation. I'm not going to make any changes. Click next. In network part, we don't have any VNet. So that's why I'm going to proceed with default VNet. Next, no need to make any changes in case of management. I'm going to proceed with review and create. Wait for a few minutes, like three to four minutes required to create our virtual machine. But before that, it will help you. Your procedure is okay. Your prerequisite is okay. Means it will be validate the entire setting that you did. And if it is passed, then proceed to create. Another information 4.49 INR per hour you have to pay as a rent. So just need to click create and wait for up to two minutes. So I'm just going to pause the video and after that once our virtual machine is ready to use, I'll guide you how we can take the RDP, right? So let me pause the video. Our virtual machine is ready to use what we need to do just need to click go to resource very simple step that you need to use to connect your windows based virtual machine we are able to find connect start restart stop capture delete and multiple options are available i'm just going to click connect click rdp you should download the rdp and provide user id and password to create our virtual machine so Wait for a few seconds. Now, this is the RDP file and our username and password that you used while creation and proceed to connect. Click continue. No matter which operating system you are using, if you are using Windows machine, Linux machine or Mac operating system, you must need to follow the same procedure. Now we are able to access our virtual machine and you are able to perform each and every task just like a base computer just like a base uh, laptop and desktop so guys this is all about the virtual machine this is day one of computer uh, module we will discuss more about like sizing storage and all but for this session i hope you all of you understand about the concept of each and every points that we discussed let me know if you have any question Drop a comment, definitely will reach your comment and guide you. Okay, everyone, thank you. Take care. Do subscribe your own Teach Me Cloud YouTube channel. Take care. Bye bye.